Two local parks in Josephine County were vandalized just days apart. The jo Josephine County Parks Department says vandalism has become a growing problem that it can't afford to keep maintaining. NBC 5's Miles Fuduichi shows us how park officials are concerned how this vandalism will affect the parks. An unusual sight at two Josephine County parks. This is the first time we've actually had a toilet seat torched and stolen. I'm not sure what the motive was there. Ennis Riffle and Lathrop both vandalized, the crimes costing the Parks Department. We're 100% self-funded, so we require you to pay your $5 day use fee or get an annual pass. Our doors would not be open without paying customers, so pay for the services you use. We appreciate your support, and it keeps the facilities open. The cost of repairing these two toilets will be around $600. According to Parks Director Sarah Garso Wright, each park earns only about 2,000 annually. It really covers toilet paper and trash, and then you start adding trash dumps on top of it, the vandalism, uh, the need for resurfacing the pavement, new signs, all that. It, it just is in over backwards, unfortunately. The department will be looking to apply for grant funding for the year. In the meantime, parks workers will do what they can to restore the places people love. It's why a lot of people live in Southern Oregon, so you can get outdoors and enjoy it, but without things like usable toilets and clean facilities. Nobody wants to use the facilities. And so it's re really a shame that we have such a great resource here along the Rogue River and that people keep vandalizing it and essentially ruining it. In Grants Pass, Miles Fruici, NBC5 News. Currently, there are only six park officials maintaining some 20 parks in the county. Wright is asking the community to help maintain the parks and do what they can to keep things clean.